there, everyone. Today, the bookworms are going to be reading Mr. Grumble by Roger Hargreaves. Mr. Grumble's name suited him well. Bah! He would grumble every morning. When his alarm clock rang, it's the start of yet another horrible day. Bah! He would groan every afternoon on his walk in the country. I hate the countryside. One day, just after he had said this, someone suddenly appeared by magic. It was a wizard. A wizard to whom? Mr. Grumble had the nerve to say. Blah! I hate wizards who suddenly appear by magic. Really? said the wizard. Well, I don't like people who are constantly grumbling and moaning. I'll tell you what I do to people who have bad manners. I turn them into... Little pigs, and the wizard disappeared, leaving behind a very piggy-looking Mr. Grumble. Mr. Grumble was afraid that he might remain a pig for the rest of his life. But five minutes later, by magic of course, he changed back into his old self. He set off again and happened to pass little Miss Fun's house. Come in, she cried. I'm having a party. Mr. Grumble went in, but when he heard Little Miss Fun's guest singing and laughing, he scowled. Blah! he moaned. I can't stand singing and laughing. He would have done better to have kept quiet because... The wizard appeared once more. I see that my first lesson wasn't enough, he said. If I'm going to teach you to stop grumbling, groaning, and moaning, I'll have to do more than turn you into a little pig. I'll have to turn you into a big pig. Mr. Grumble did not like it one bit. Little Miss Fun and her guests, however, found it very funny. Please, begged Mr. Grumble, turn me back to normal. I promise that I will never grumble, groan, or moan ever again. And he feebly wiggled his curly tail. The wizard took pity on him and changed him back into his old self, and then the wizard disappeared again. Then little Miss Fun jumped onto a table and pretended to be a clown. Mr. Grumble was not amused. Blah! he snorted. I can't stand people who jump onto tables and pretend to be clowns. You can guess what happened next. He turned into... An enormous pig! An enormous pig! whose face was red with embarrassment. Oink, wailed Mr. Grumble mournfully. Then, this enormous red-faced pig made a solemn promise. Never again will I grumble, groan, moan, or snort. Good, said the wizard, suddenly appearing once again. And Mr. Grumble changed back into his old self. Well, not exactly his old self. Look at that nice smile on his face. Amazing, isn't it? Later, Mr. Grumble went home, and tired out after his exhausting day, he went straight to bed. He slept the whole night without once grumbling, groaning, moaning, or snorting, but not without... snoring. The End that's it for today, everyone. I hope you guys enjoy. For more read-alongs like these, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share it with a friend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!